calls her PPK. PPKS, to be more specific. It's in 22 long rifle. It comes, of course, with your warranty. I advise doing that. A magazine, a little bag of goodies that includes three front sights, or two front sights. One is installed. Got a little hex wrench here that is to adjust the rear sight. We're going to come back to that one. A little bar, pin bar there that will help drive out the uh, ring, the ring pin in the uh, front sight so you can change it. And a handy dandy wrench so that you can put a muzzle device on there. It comes with a threaded muzzle. Uh, you can put a muzzle device on there if you are so inclined. Out of 40 days of ownership, I had it in my possession thir uh, 10 days. Walther Service Department, or traveling to and from, had it the other 30 days. First time it went to the service department, I had field stripped it. And then the, si the slide would not move back more than a quarter inch. It jammed up. Uh, do not know what went wrong with that. I called Walter Service. They said ship it to us. They paid the bill on that one. And I shipped it to them. And they returned it with a new slide. So that's slide number two. When they returned it, of course, you go out and you want to shoot it. You want to check your sights and everything. I replaced that front sight. You can see that front sight there it has a little roll pin in there. Drove that out, put in a new front sight to lower the shooting. And then I went to adjust that rear sight. I don't know if you can... I'll do a... Uh, here's a picture of it. A little but better. It's still not a good picture, but there is a set screw in there that sets in that thing. And I went to adjust it, and using this little tiny hex wrench here, managed to pop that screw out of that plastic rear sight. And I don't know what kind of plastic they're using, but it is plastic. It's not metal. Uh, so I called them up, and I'm a little bit upset, of course. And they say, okay, uh, send it to us. So I send them the slide, my dime that time. And they install a new slide, a new uh, rear sight backwards. They get it back and, okay, well, I still need to adjust it, make sure it's going to shoot right and all that other fun stuff. And I put that hex wrench in there and that hex wrench doesn't fit and the Set screw is jammed in there. So I call them back again and they say, okay, send it to us. Well, I send it to them. They replace the slide. This is the third slide in 40 days on this pistol. And like I said, uh, like I think I said, I've owned it 40 days. They've had it 30 out of those 40 days. I've only had it the uh, 10 days. Well, we go to shoot it, see how it's shooting. And now they tell you all over the place this is a uh, 22 long rifle. Okay, use 22 long rifle. Uh, it jams and stove pipes and fails to feed repeatedly with standard long rifle. The service department gets rather snooty with me saying, well, you're supposed to use high velocity. Everybody knows that. Well, no, it's not on your uh, instructions on your web page. It is not in your manual. It just says 22 long rifle. So they, you know, rather snooty with me, like I say. And we have a fail to feed. Another fail to feed.
Failure to feed. We're running. We've got a stovepipe that time. With my experience, I bought this to teach my grandkids how to shoot. As you see from the web page, they kind of implicate that this is a good gun to teach kids to shoot with. It's not. That trigger has a double action pull of 17 and a half pounds. I can barely pull that thing, much less my, my kids. It's going to be a single action only when they are learning to shoot. So there's a number of issues with this thing. Based on my experience, if you buy one of these things, you better register for the warranty because you're going to need it. I do not recommend this, this pistol at all.